Airbnb just released the most massive update that they've updated in years. And they weren't even going to tell us. It's like they silently slipped it into an email chain. And no, it has nothing to do with cameras. I know there's been a lot of talk about cameras and privacy, and that's made the news. It's been all over the place. But Airbnb finally has made an update that is good for hosts. And I'm so excited to share it with you. It hit via email maybe just a couple of hours ago, four hours at the most. And I scrambled to get you some slides. I wanna show you all about it. I wanna show you how you can use it because even if you're not a co-host, this update to co-hosting's terms and updates to co-hosting's features is something that's gonna let you run your business at scale in a super, super big way. So first, what is co-hosting? Let's get you all up. So by the way, if you're on Instagram, we're streaming on YouTube. You can see these slides that I'm sharing on YouTube. Co-hosting is when you don't own the property, you're not even renting the property. Airbnb believes that you're helping another person run their property. And this is why Airbnb's always had this kind of poor version of co-hosting tools is because they always thought that the property owner would be the primary host and that the co-host was a helper. But most of you know that Airbnb as a investment strategy involves buying a property and then trying to do nothing with it and then having someone like myself or a professional co-host run it for you where you do absolutely nothing. It's completely passive. So a lot of you will know co-hosting because of companies like <coughs> Vacasa. Vacasa is maybe the biggest name in the space. I think Zeus went out of business, I think, and Vacasa's on the ropes. Vacasa as a co-host has been losing partners hand over fist. And the reason why they've lost partners hand over fist is you guys might have seen um, some of this stuff on Reddit. Let me show you right here. Vacasa has a huge problem. Vacasa has a huge problem because at scale, they can't provide a service that Airbnb wants the guests to have or that Airbnb guests want. So this owner was ranting about how Vacasa and Evolve, they just do a terrible job with properties. They're unresponsive. They can't manage problems or maintenance. They don't make payouts like they should. So for any of you that are small time Airbnb hosts or co-hosts, I just want to let you know that you have a prime opportunity to take this business. I've been teaching my students to pick up Vacasa properties, calling on those owners saying, hey, I hear you're having a problem with Vacasa. I'm a local host and I can run your property. I think you should work with me. So <clears throat> if I were you guys and you take nothing else away from this, I want you to consider calling Vacasa properties to pick up your next Airbnb because these owners, they own the property, et cetera. Now I'm gonna finally get to what we're getting at here. Airbnb's updated their co-host um, requirements. So now you as a co-host, you will be able to, let me get this on screen. You will be able to do resolution claims even though you're not the property owner or the admin. This is a big deal, guys. At scale, even us who don't do much co-hosting, we put all of our properties into co-host accounts to run them so our employees can run the business from the co-host account. And this is why it's gonna be massive. I'm gonna show you how to use this. Until now, there was no way to completely make a listing passive. You just couldn't do it. Now an owner can like hand off an Airbnb property, let someone else run it. They can put their payment details in, their payment details are safe, and then somebody can do claims for resolutions and reimbursements. Normally, in order for you to do resolution claims and reimbursements, you'd have to trust somebody enough to go into your admin account, and what that would mean for you is that somebody could change your payment information or do all sorts of wonky stuff. And operating out of an admin account as a co-host is dangerous because if the co-host does something wrong, you as the admin could get banned, right? So let me show you something really cool. Thanks for your patience, by the way. This is my very first time using this Stream Deck. So Airbnb allows you to seek reimbursement for damages um, through Airbnb's Air Cover. It's a $3 million protection. I'm gonna let you guys kind of watch through this stuff. Now, Airbnb has kind of strict methods in which you go through the resolution center. Guest checks out, you make a claim, you have to have documentation. You have to do it within two weeks, um, but if you don't do it before the next guest checks in, they'll usually give you a lot of trouble, stuff like that. And that's why this starts to get really tough for a lot of hosts is because the Airbnb co-host has a housekeeper and that housekeeper will get photos of damage and then the co-host will collect that stuff. And then the co-host will try to get that to the owner in time and have the owner upload all of this stuff. So maybe there's a reason why Airbnb is doing this. We're gonna circle back to that in a second. So the kinds of things <clears throat> that Airbnb hosts need damage protection for 
is guests will just break stuff. They'll throw parties, they'll steal, um, they'll smoke or they'll bring pets. And we don't normally get a chance to collect security deposits. Um, I think a lot of you actually understand this too. Airbnb doesn't allow security deposits and security deposits are fake, right? You say you have a security deposit, Airbnb is basically getting the guests to agree that if there's a claim, that Airbnb can take up to that amount without their like saying yes. So a security deposit is normally where you charge a card and then you hold that money in like as a reserve, like as a reserve. And if the Airbnb guest does something wrong, you wouldn't get that money back. Airbnb doesn't charge a guest for a security deposit, right? Airbnb says, hey guest, you did something bad. And if you don't wanna pay, we can now take it from you. This is one of the biggest fiascos like in Airbnb's like service history is that you collecting a security deposit is a deterrent from a guest booking on Airbnb, but Airbnb is not even collecting it. It's just you doing Airbnb a favor saying, hey, if you do damages, we're going to charge you without your permission. If you didn't do that, Airbnb would not be able to charge the guest because you didn't take a security deposit, like a fake pre-auth, and Airbnb would still have to pay you. So moral of the story here is even if you don't collect a security deposit, Airbnb's air cover still has to pay you even though Airbnb's high and dry. So maybe the reason why this is such a big deal is because Airbnb now is looking to try to make it so that way <clears throat> it's faster to do resolution claims. Because Airbnb's current like air cover policy is a little too relaxed for them and they're probably losing a lot of money. They've made this 14 day window because they understand that a co-host and a cleaner has to get photos to the owner, and there's this whole process workflow that can take a bunch of time. So a guest can check out, and it's gonna be four, five, six days later that somebody finally is doing their resolution claim, only because the process took so long to get the photos to the owner who's a passive guy. Airbnb, on the back of this update, this is a really good update for host guys, but on the back of this update, Airbnb might make this update uh, basically state that you have to do your resolutions, resolutions fast again. Let me put the resolution um, information up on the screen for you, uh, this, new, this new update. So just so you can read it, this is the email. Airbnb is saying that you, even though you're not the account owner or account admin, will, have, will very soon be able to go in as a co-host and make claims. Airbnb could turn this into a case where because co-hosts are the one operating, the one operating the Airbnb, has fast access to do Airbnb air cover claims, Airbnb could then tighten their policies or tighten their window on how fast you have to do an air cover claim. So what I'm saying is this is a mixed blessing. I'm, I'm predicting something to come. I wanna know what you think, guys. <clears throat> do you think that Airbnb is doing this for this like kind of illicit reason that I think they're gonna do it for? It's good for us that we can finally run our business through a co-host account completely, but it's gonna be bad for some hosts because I think Airbnb is gonna really tighten that range on how fast you're allowed to do resolutions. So uh, it's quick and easy, my friends. I just wanted to give you this. I think you should know. You can start running your whole business, like you can have 100 properties through admin accounts and then invite other accounts as co-hosts that'll operate those properties and then whatever manager you have for say Dallas or Houston or Philly or whatever, that local manager with their local housekeeping team can do local resolutions from the co-host account. So you can have main admin accounts with like listings in multiple cities and then those local managers can do their own resolutions. This is a big deal for someone like me with over 100 properties. This is also a big deal for people who primarily do business on Airbnb alone and don't wanna do business with people like Vacasa. So thank you for watching this. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna do a repeat for any of you who are showing up late. So stay tuned for more, my friends, and I'll see you on the other side.